Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video on my channel for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Today, we are going over probably the best gun in Modern Warfare right now. And it's very easy to guess which one this is. It's going to be the MP5 that I have here. Now, we're going to be jumping straight into these attachments here. And then I'm going to jump into a game so that I can show you guys just how good this gun really is. I know a lot of y'all probably don't need any kind of explanation of or sh me showing you guys how good this gun is just because it's that good. Everybody knows. First, I run for my muzzle, the muzzle brake 9. This helps just ever so slightly with that vertical recoil control. Now, I see a ton of people run the agency suppressor. I ran this and the muzzle brake. The agency suppressor is not bad at all. I would highly recommend this for S&D or even free for all any of that kind of stuff but there is a lot of long range maps and this is a negative 25 percent for your effective damage range and in my opinion it's just not worth running this if i'm losing that much damage range for my barrel i run the 9.5 inch reinforced heavy now this is going to give more effective damage range and plus 80 percent of the bullet velocity you're losing a little bit of your overall mobility of this weapon. You're decreasing your sprinting move speed and you're decreasing your aim walking movement speed. But honestly, the pros, in my opinion, definitely outweigh the cons, especially since you have such a high mobility with this gun already. Next, we're moving over to the under barrel and I put on the field grip agent. Again, you're losing a little bit of mobility. Overall, you're still going to have very fast mobility, I promise. But you're gaining a lot more control, that recoil control over this weapon, which again helps with that those long-range maps. Every single map in this game, it just seems like it's long-range. So this helps a ton. All right, so now for my magazine, I run the 40-round speed mags. Some people run the 50-round fast mags. But the cons to both of these is that you're losing a lot of that aim down sight speed, which is so critically important. The 50-round fast mags, you're losing an additional 5% on top of the 40-round fast mags. But I promise this 40-round fast mags is the way to go. I find 50 is just a little too much. It's not really needed. If you're playing like free for all or S and D, I would recommend running the 40 round drum mag. You're going to be reloading a bit slower, but you're not getting removing any of that aim down sight speed. I play a lot of longer range maps, the combined arms. That's what I'm going to be jumping to after this. And this is just a way to go. Honestly, last but not least for your stock run the Raider stock. This is a plus 30% sprint to fire time in a plus 10% aim walking movement speed. Now you unlock this at level 54, so it does take a little bit. When I wasn't running this, I was running the collapsible stock for that plus 10% sprint of fire time. But when you unlock the Raider stock, make sure to run this. You are losing 30% hit fire accuracy, but honestly, it didn't really affect me all that much. So I would recommend running that. Now I want to jump into a game real quick so that I can show you guys just how good this gun really is. I've been loving it. When it came to Modern Warfare, I did not want to play the Ground War. And this is basically kind of like a Ground War, a little bit smaller. And I find that is perfect for me, especially with skill-based matchmaking. Skill-based matchmaking, they just, they fucking hate us. That's all I have to say. Looks like we're jumping into Armada. I don't know if this is Domination. Alright, this is that zone one, which is fine too. Looks like it kind of just started. Yes, it did. You definitely don't have to play this game mode. I know this game mode can be really hard for SMGs specifically. Just because everything is so long range. I also love running the stim shot. I highly recommend the stim shot. To see how fast that reload is. It's 40 round mags. That's our first kill. if we can find another we're taking our zone i was expecting us to have at least one teammate over there but it looks like they're about to take it i'm not doing that shotgun again i want to try and get some longer range kills 
Let's see, we got someone over here. Easy. All right. We pushed the zone back. Got another kill. Even though this is an SMG, if you have good accuracy, you're still going to be mapping people. You saw me get those two kills here. Probably about to die. Yeah. See if we can get this guy. Yep, there we go. I would still recommend on this uh, combined arms. If your accuracy is not good, I would highly recommend running an AR. Unless you're planning on playing a bit closer range. I don't like what I'm doing here, just in these rooms. Ooh, that almost ended badly. I thought that was going to be a bad challenge. Got our armor plate. I love the armor plate score streak. It just gives you a little bit more time in um, at least one or two gunfights to be able to win that gunfight. That's one over here. Alright, I'm going to push back. Almost had that. That's our eight kill streak. Nine. Ten. Woo! Eleven. There we go. We died on to 12. That's fine. We got our big score streak. If it wasn't for our, that armor plate, we would have died probably about our 10th. But the time to kill on this weapon, it's so good. I use this on every single game mode, every single map. Easy. Easy. You really need to... I guess I'm going to have to go down there. That shotgun. That's fine. Come on, like one more shot. Stand up again. Okay, we're going to put this on. I'm going to push up here. Make sure that there's nobody up this way. I have not been able to really get onto this other boat, which worries me. Oh, yeah. Our teammate got it. I might see another person here. All right, so now I'm going to try and help out a little bit more with our teammates here. I'm gonna... Okay, I don't know what just happened there. We're straight into the middle. Thankfully, it looks like we have a few teammates doing the same. I'm worried we're going to see people up here. I don't know where he was. Oh, great. I didn't even know that was a spot. There we go. Our teammate had a good napalm strike. Did I see something? Ah, I'm not going crazy. Okay. There we go. Hell yes. So if it wasn't a terrible gameplay here, we went on a nice 12 round gun streak. So I can't complain. But again, this has to be the best gun in the game, without a doubt. If you're playing free for all, team deathmatch, any of the smaller maps, this gun fucking crushes. I jumped into combined arms solely because it's really the only game mode I can play right now, just because of skill based matchmaking. It's the only one that I've been enjoying. But use this on anything. If y'all need to level it up faster, you can also jump into zombies. I heard that the experience also goes over here and you level it up a lot faster. I also heard it takes about 1300 kills in multiplayer to get it all the way to level 55. And I think I'm just at over 1200. So it's crazy. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about it or what you change around in this class setup. I would love to know and maybe I'll try out yours to see if it's different. We're still really early on into this game, but... I found that this works great for me. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I will see y'all in the next one.